Sounds like a hero is needed here, and I'm that hero. I'm rewarded with a new weapon and it looks great, I got a nice axe, and I set off to pick up all the quests around me. Brekka sends me to buy and sell goods from Provisioner Jinhake, where I am able to make my first gold. Feeling good, making that money, rewarding me with the new bag in the process. The second quest I pick up is Throg, telling me that there's a ghost on the bridge that might help me on my journey. The quest rewards a spell named Execute, so immediately I accept Lickety Split. I then speak to Lana Lorden, an undead who fears dying again, so she wants me to go and search for some trapped soldiers in a creepy spider infested cave with souls spilling out. I quickly dispatch of the barrel spiders and smack the soldiers cocooned in their webs. They all seem to be worried about someone named Krenna, Earth Daughter, so I'm making my personal mission to rescue her. Charging in deeper and deeper, the spider slowly dwindled while my loins jiggled. That rhymed in my head, not in practice. As I near the end of the cave, I hear Krenna's voice along with the new villain, Run the Exile. Earth Mother, guide their path. <laughs> I will harvest your life force, Target. and then those who sealed me in here shall burn. Yeah. You will be kindling. I make short work of Rune, and he tries to take me down with a big explosion, trying to take down the whole cave. I will bear us to safety. Krenna turns into Papa. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and we ride out into the sunset while fire burns left and right and explosions oh, burst Watch rock into her face. Krenna seems to be one with nature and cares about the man-eating spiders. Those spiders had their rightful home destroyed. They deserved better. Brekka rewards me with a pair of new arm guards and I sell all my nasty spider parts to Jin Haki. Spirits be with you, man. I meet up with Shuja, who needs help up north where another missing member of the expedition was found having his undead soul sucked for the rise of the undead dragon. The harpies seem to be in cahoots with the ogres behind this ritual and I'm sent to burn the totems and saute the harpies with my horn. Shuja and Bo both agreed to help me take the harpies out, only to disappear when I turn around, making me wonder if they are ghosts or regretting their decision to help at all hiding in a nearby bush. It's too far away. I recover some waterlogged supplies worth one gold and rejoice for making those big bucks as well as reaching level 7. I find Bo hiding behind a tree bridge, but I also find Bo down the same hill, which means Bo is not real and I'm hallucinating. I meet Herbert Gloomburst, who is a very interesting character, intrigued by the very ritual he is being sacrificed for. A shame I must break such a fascinating fish. spell. Keep the harpies away from me! <laughs> Harpy bodies are piled up as I fight off an ambush, followed by a pack of wargs. I defeat the bird bo- I defeat the bird boss- that's a tongue twister. I defeat the bird boss blood peak. I defeat the bird boss blood beak, saving Herbert from more brain damage. <laughs> Let's make ourselves scarce, shall we? And with the harpies weakened, I get that good, good XP and head to complete Throg's quest of the ghostly figure on the bridge. At Dark Mall Bridge, I find Hij Lamar, Hij Lamar, the Undying, who was cursed by the ogres to forever walk this land for defying them. He teaches me the move. Ex execute, execute, execute. Ex he <laughs> teaches me the move. Execute to put him out of his misery and give him a glorious death in battle. Now, death. I 
at last. I give him one last goodbye and take a moment to send him off with the wind.